Hello, everyone. I am Joy Sand, and I am the Kentucky Dolly Mom. If you are one of my amazing subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. And if you like my videos and would like to become one of my amazing subscribers, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. I want to welcome, welcome everyone, and I hope everyone is having an amazing Saturday. We've got some gorgeous weather here today. Not too hot, not too cold, nice and sunny. Uh, and I hope everyone is experiencing just an absolutely amazing, amazing day. I am so happy, happy to see uh, everyone here today. Thank you so much. I have done another trade. Uh, I traded the uh, Angela Sculpt by Elson Marks for a bag of, well, it was supposed to be in a box, but as you can see, it's a bag of baby clothes. Um, and it has been an absolute nightmare. It truly has. Um, because for one, she shipped it out brown and went as cheaply as she could with it. So they weren't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. For se I think it was seven to ten business days. Um, but then it started moving pretty fast. It really started moving pretty fast. The next thing you know, it's at a post office in my city and state and was going to be delivered on that that Monday. And I thought, oh, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful uh, that it's coming that quickly. Well, what happened was they actually sent it to the wrong post office. And instead of them just scanning it, sending it to the right place, they ended up losing it. So this package has been sitting in limbo since the 15th of June. Since the 15th of June, and I just got it today for clothes. And uh, we had made an agreement that my and July was worth 300 so I'm supposed to be getting $300 worth of clothing. Baby, baby items. Um, we'll have to see because uh, I don't know. It, it depends. I mean, it's pretty full. It, it's pretty full. Um, one of the problems that she had, and I'm only bringing this up because um, I wouldn't want anybody else to go through it. Um, I'm going to cover the label they put on there. I'm going to cover the label because it's still got my address. Um, I don't believe you can read any of this. I don't believe you can read any of this. It is so faded out. So faded out. Uh, so I'm not worried about putting the address on the... I just... I mean, you really have to know what you're doing to, to get that address off. It is so very faded. Some of the numbers you think are the right number and letters even are not. They're smeared. They're smeared. So uh, what looks like, um, let me see if I can even make that out. Uh, what looks like a D looks like an, an A. Looks like a T. Looks like no. What's supposed to be a P? Looks like a T and an A wrote on top of it. It's really, really smeared. So even if you think you're getting the right letters, I promise you, you're not because there's an A that looks like a P. Uh, it, it's it's awful. It's awful. Um, and it's a plastic bag. 
plastic shipping bag with the label already on there. It, it's not taped on, it's made on. Uh, and she used an ink pen to write the address and stuff on it. So, um, it smeared. It smeared and being lost for as long as it was, no telling what this bag went through. But it definitely smeared to the point where, I mean, if I had to call every day and complained every day, I'm not sure they would have even looked for it uh, any longer. I had to end up calling the uh, mail carrier's supervisor to even get anything done because they were ready to quit looking and wanted me to file for insurance, which, like I said, it's supposed to be worth $300, and she only got $100 worth of insurance on it. So, uh, even if I had to you know, got the insurance on it, it would, I would have still been out $200. Not to mention, uh, it cost me almost $28 uh, just to ship the base. Because I sh shipped mine priority mail, fully insured, with a uh, signature required and confirmation. Um, and I always get the physical signature, not the electronic signature. That way the person has to, somebody has to physically sign, and I don't have to worry about them just doing an electronic signature, leaving it on the porch, somebody steals it, and the post office says, it was delivered, it's all done for that. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, and I forgot to even mention my sweet girl. And she's just been sitting there so good. She's such a good girl. Yes, she is. Big old smile. This is my Braxton Nicole, for those who are not familiar with my baby girl. And she thought she would go ahead and come on with me. And she had, nobody's been on for a while. I, MIA and I do apologize. Uh, I'm hoping to get back into it, but um, she thought, well, you know, you're not changing nobody. You're opening a package right here. And I said, you'll have to wait and watch. So that's what we did. Now, this looks like a uh, patchwork type thing on one side. It has fish all the way around it, and dinosaurs. Uh, it looks, well, that looks like a dinosaur. No, I, it's not a dinosaur. I'm sorry. That's a snail. It's got a snail and some fish. I think that's about it. Snails and fish with some little uh, flowers pink flowers and green leaves. And then on the other side, it's a multicolored stripe and it's got like a, a hot pink, a light pink, a red. It has purple, blue, like an aqua blue. Some of them are zigzag. Some of them are uh, what those look like little arrows. These look like, uh, they almost look like little butterflies. So this is cute, a little, uh, little throw pad, uh, I guess, flight pad for my own floor. Let's see what we got going on here. I did ask for um, newborn boys and newborn girls, so hopefully that's what I've got. Um, this is cute. It is uh, Kate Quinn, which honestly, I'm not a big fan of Kate Quinn uh, because I just, I like more brighter, babyish looking colors. 
but this is actually nice. I actually like this. And it is the Zodiac Sun for the Capricorn. Uh, I can't think of anybody that I know uh, that's Capricorn, but it is a cute, uh, it has, it looks like, I guess that's the ram. I'm not sure whatever the Capricorn symbols are. That's what that is. And then it has the blue, light blue corduroy uh, material, which I, I do like this. And it's got a little bear that, uh, well, whatever the little zodiac sign thing is, I guess, uh, goes down in there with that, which is cute. Now, that is a cute little outfit. honest with you, I've never been a big fan of Kate Quinn just because <coughs> the patterns, excuse me guys, uh, what's it called? Uh, <coughs> oh, I apologize. And I can tell it's not, it's not pretty yet. But, yeah, you know, like I said, the patterns and the colors are to me more for oh you know for older children I, I like the brighter more babyish colors and patterns <coughs> oh I apologize um that's cute uh, and that's the end friend uh, that could be right definitely not newborn size so that's too big for Jesse Marie which was who I really wanted the clothes for her and my baby now this is cute um it's um like a candy stripe pink and white it's a white background with pink stripe, snaps in the leg, a little, uh, like a bib, uh, romper. Uh, and again, it's no labels at all, so I don't know what size or brand that is. Honestly, it may even be handmade. that I will definitely be for Braxton. Looks like Braxton's getting most everything, which she wasn't supposed to really get anything. Yeah, this is a 66. I have no idea what size a 66 is. I'm assuming that's in China. Uh, and that's basically, basically all it is because the wording is in China. Even read it. This is Hybe, Hybobi, Hybobi, something like that. But it's a little um, romper with a white uh, shirt. It is made together. It doesn't come out uh, with black and white check uh, or bottoms that snap up. And that's another Braxton outfit because you see this is zero to three so so far she's not sent me anything that I've asked her for so far nothing um, because I did let her know I was wanting clothes for Jesse Marie and great Gabriel I've got plenty for her this bottom row here I don't think you can see it but I mean she's got plenty plenty of clothes um, so, newborn boys and newborn girls was what I asked her for. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is uh, just, I don't see a brand. Um, just says zero to three months, little blue jeans. And they're adorable. You know, they're cute. It's just not what I was going for. And this is the little headband 
that goes with this outfit. Which I thought this was a boy's outfit because of the bibs, but uh, it's a Capricorn headband. And it's, you know, so I'm assuming this goes with that outfit. We have one little cloth shoe. It's a bluish gray, and that looks like it could be a puppy dog. And I'm hoping the other one is in there somewhere. Let's see. Oh, this is super, 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 super soft. Really, really soft, soft material. It's a very pale pink. Um, whole piece of cloth here. Uh, it's a zero to three. Modern moments is the brand. It does still have the tags, but... Still nothing for my core. Gabriel. Or, uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This little outfit. It's blue. Very light. Light blue. Has Mickey Mouse all over it. With the shirt. Mickey Mouse. And my friend. Tori has one exactly, exactly like it. Now this is a newborn size, so Gabriel uh, may be able to wear this. And then we have another huge three month size uh, Hain, uh, Carter's uh, romper. And it's got big yellow and orange and pink on it with snaps in the legs. Very, very big. Very, very big. Now here we go. Maybe you've got something for yes, here's a little mini newborn sleeper. Excuse me guys, I've got the hiccups. And it's got a, a white background with tiny little gray dots all over it. And then it's got yellow flowers with gray leaves and little yellow ribbon bows. And it's all the snaps to the little feet. Now this I do like. It's extremely soft. Very, very soft. And even though it, preemie clothes tend to be a little short on Jessie, even though she's 17 inches. Um, so I really like taking the newborn, you know, especially small newborns, uh, Carter's especially, and washing them in hot water and drying them on high heat. And that usually will spruce them up enough for her to wear uh, pretty comfortably. I just don't want her, you know, to be in anything real tight or anything real heavy, you know, big either. Now, this is just one new Carter's, and it's a size three months. <laughs> the top is, uh, I'd say, uh, they've got the dark navy blue stripes, white stripes. It's got a very bright pink bow, and the little ribbon goes all the way around on a dark navy blue background with what looks to me like pelicans. That's what they call it. Sleeveless. But it snaps up the top. Now that's cute. The size I'm going for. And here we go with another zero to three. Uh, navy blue and white striped gir uh, the girder zero to three months. It has pink uh, all around the collar and it 
around the sleeves. There we go. Just kind of flirted with a nice little pink. these clothes are just not going to be what I can use so far anyway because I just don't need anything that big. We've got a receiving blanket. It's a white background and it has little blue ships all over it. This is another receiving blanket white background and it has whales and ships and starfish all over it and now like i do like blankets i, I love blankets so either one any of the babies can use them and great here's the other the other little sheet that's great these are probably i don't know what if they have a size in them, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, they're size newborn. Uh, so Jesse Marie might be able to wear those, and even Gabriel uh, might be able to wear them. We have a very big three-month size Carter's, and it's... Uh, pink and white stripe onesie and it says full of happy just full of happy and it has little flowers pink flowers with green leaves full of happy is in like a hunter green it's not so away they do have the little gathered uh, sleeves but yeah so far everything is going to be too big about everybody except Braxton. We got a Carter's three months, really cute gray. It has uh, what I think looks like a uh, bunny rabbit with the eyes, pink cheeks. Uh, snaps up, has long sleeves, and it is a <laughs> three month size. It's very cute, very, very soft. Very, very big. And then we have another zero. Yeah, zero to three. Modern moments. I guess this is a little dress. I don't think I have anything that looks like it can pants in there yet. But three and it's kind of a ooh, I want to say a wag like a uh, kind of a wag look it's got the big collar little pockets it's very cute it's just very big <coughs> so far nothing one one sleeper for Jessie Marie and probably have to be shrunk before she wear it. All right, now this is cute. It's a newborn size, and it's the little rompers. It's like the little uh, onesies with the little dress built in. I absolutely love these. It is a newborn size. It has a big pink bow. It has blue and yellow flowers all over it on a white background. We have one little button in the back, and that is really cute. And I do believe Jesse Marie will be able to wear that. Oh, this is a cute little balloon romper. It says one to three months. It's a um, Shaheen Sunini uh, bubble romper. I really like that. possible. Uh, I could swipe that up for Jessie Marie. It's not super big. Even though it says one to three, it's 
not all big. It's got the puffy little baby doll sleeves and a big, wide, white collar. Very, very cute, and it buttons up the back. Now this, I think, just And another little romper, balloon romper, very cute. It's also a one to three Shaheen. It's kind of um, like a sea blue, sea green, like sea green, sage maybe. I'm not sure if that's what it would be. It's big puffy gathered sleeves. It's not stuff at the bottom and it's got the jacket around the legs too and then it buttons up the back I do like buttons I'm getting too old for these little tiny tiny buttons uh, but I like the big ones like that let's see this I think the belt I think this belt goes with I come up with something else. It's the same color, so I'm pretty sure it goes with this. It was cropped on the top. So it has a little belt. Oh my goodness, a little short shirt. Oh, it has a And let's see, this is a child of mine, newborn. Long sleeve pink shirt. I'm, there may be some pants. I don't know. I haven't seen that. This, I believe, will fit Jessie Marie. And it has the little headband. This is solid pink long sleeve. And this headband is pink with uh, yellow. Well, that may go. Let's see, didn't we? Well, it may. That belt look good with the other romper. Uh, because it's got the yellow and the blue and the pink in it. So that's really cute. And I don't know if there was pants with it, but it looks to me like just the shirt. And then I've got Ladies Man. Three month carters. It's got a blue, baby blue. It's got a bow tie. Dark blue bow tie. And white letters that says Ladies Man. Ones. Too big for Jacob. I mean, um, Gabriel. Now, this is cute. This may be something that Jesse Marie can wear. Now, this was made in Vietnam. It's Nike. And I'm not. Well, oh, okay. I thought maybe the size was different, but it says three months, but that looks pretty small. It says Nike. It's uh, got pink, bright pink sleeves that does have the built-in hand mittens. And then it uh, has little feet and it's black background with white polka dots. And in big letters it says Nike with the Nike check. And it's the zip. Now they really disguised the zipper. You can really, you probably can't hardly see that zipper. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. Now this is a really pretty little dress. I think it's way too big. Let's see what size it says. Oh, not. It's made in China and it says a 73, so I don't again know. The other one said 66. This is 73, so I'm assuming it's bigger and it looks bigger, but it's really a pretty little dress. It's very soft. It's got the uh, little baby doll sleeves uh, with the ruffly collar. It's a gray, light gray with a darker gray uh, lace bottom, and then it has this is the lace is overlaid with um, material underneath. Or I guess material underneath and it's got 
so it's a lighter gray at the top with a darker gray bow and then the bottom is a darker uh, lace and it looks like uh, flowers like oriental oriental flowers it's very pretty but you know too big now i do have my uh myla sculpt and she is a big baby and i don't have uh, a whole lot for her even though i think a lot of the things that braxton can wear uh, myla will be able to wear too especially on the dresses um but uh, i guess i'll have to wait and see but i mean as far as three hundred dollars worth of stuff i don't I'm not seeing it. Definitely not seeing it. Um, and like I said, very, very little that I'll even be able to use uh, as far as the sizes go. Um, but I just have to wait and see. You know, a few things that I'll be able to use. I might be able oh this had panties with it so yeah this little dress and it has a little like dark color cover underneath but it's a zero to three months and look at that size it's only yeah i guess if you're putting it over a diaper it would work but it does really look big and i, I just love this and that is just so cute i am gonna it is brand new, I guess. I think I did. Well, I thought I saw bags. Maybe not. Uh, but I am hoping I can wash this in hot water. And I might be able to shrink it up for uh, just a minute. But we'll just have to. I'll have to play around with it. Uh, and see, uh, but, uh, I don't see $300 worth of clothes in it. Only two, maybe three items still had the tag. Uh, some of them looked real used. Some looks very used while others look gently used. But she might have gotten my box mixed up with somebody else uh, because she only sent two newborn out, two newborn items that, and not girls. So I got nothing for boys that I even seen. There was no boys. But, oh, well, to be honest with you, I'm surprised I got it at all, uh, the way the post office had flipped around so long. Um, but anyway, I'm grateful, like I said, to have gotten it all. Uh, you know, hopefully she likes her baby. Uh, she got her baby like three days. In three days, so she's had her baby a long time. <laughs> but and actually I might do some kind of a drawing uh, for the Cape Quinn uh, I'm not sure if this was Cape Quinn because now this is not Cape Quinn this is Jamboree so the only thing that was Cape Quinn is it looks like a onesie let's see no it says it's a jumpsuit so it, it's like a, a jumpsuit with the head thing on it um, it's still sealed actually I might end up doing a little drawing and send those out to somebody uh, because like I said it's for Capricorn you know anybody that's Capricorn might like it you might want to enter. 
And I, as always, guys, we are so happy that you came by and visited us in our little corner of the world. I promise to get back on here soon and do another video. Braxton uh, will be the next video I do because she has some exciting news that she can't wait to share with you guys. So I will try in the next day or two get that video done of Braxton. Because, like I said, you can tell by the big grin on her face, she's got some exciting news to tell people. Um, remember, guys, to please, please give God thanks. Because if it wasn't for Him, we would not be here in the first place. Let's be kind, let's be nice, and let's be supportive of one another. You never know what someone's going through. And I want to thank you all so much. And know, please, from the bottom of my heart, if you can hear my voice, you're in my thoughts and prayers. Because God does not need me to have a specific name to know who I'm talking about. And I believe everybody in the whole world right now could use a few of y'all for prayers. So know that I love you and I'm thinking of you often. And as I said, I am so very, very grateful for you to come by and visit me. I'd love to know what you've been up to. Uh, like I said, I'm always doing trades. Do you all do trades? Have you had successful trades? Uh, I'd love to know your experience because mine has all been wonderful. I'm a little disappointed in this one, but it is basically because of the size. I mean, the clothes are nice. I'm okay to get anything, like I said. Um, I just wish they were more of the size I was looking for, but I'm grateful to have gotten it at all with it getting lost, with it being a trade to someone that I had never traded with before. Um, of course, I was very nervous. And then, you know, being nervous trading the first time with this person and then to have it lost, but it was the post office wasn't anything she did and like I said the label the shipping label was so smeared you couldn't even read it uh, they had to print another label so uh, that may have been because it was wallet in the mail bins and stuff so wallet uh, you know might have started out I'm sure a lot darker than that but anyway I am going to let you guys go as I said, we've got a gorgeous Saturday here. I hope you have a gorgeous Saturday. Thank you so much for coming by. And I ask you to please, please have a blessed Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye for now.